Diwali Passport, brought to you by Chatak Food Products and Anan Brand Wax Deers. When it comes to Pira and Ladu, I just use Chatak's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. It's a combination of traditional ingredients in one pack. I don't spend all that time preparing different ingredients like ma. Three quarter of the work is done. So now I can make fresh, delicious Pira and Ladu in about 15 minutes with the convenience of Chatak's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. Now Ma's Kitchen is a Chata Kitchen. Now available, Gulab Jamun Instant Mitai Mix. Lighting up for Diwali just got simple with the easy-to-use Anand brand wax deers. They're scientifically engineered to last longer, burn brighter, and keep on lighting. Anand brand wax deers do not require any prepping or filling and has less spillage and cleanup. These deers are recommended for outdoor use and can withstand light wind and rain. Plus, they're eco-friendly. Redeem your use cases for cash back. So put some green innovation into your Diwali celebrations with with Anand Brand Wax Deers. The Festival of Lights glows once again in many nations. Let's take a trip and find the interesting variations. Some are quiet and simple, and others filled with family and friends. Join us now for Diwali Passport on WESN. Well, it's time for another trip to experience the wonderful and varied customs that make up Diwali in a different part of the globe. Today, we are all set to fly away to another adventure, and this time, we head to the world's largest archipelago, Indonesia. Made up of over 17,000 islands, Indonesia is located north of Australia and off the Southeast Asian mainland. Its most popular islands include Bali, Java, and Sumatra. Within Indonesia, Hindus constitute 1.7% of the total population, which translates to over 4.6 million people. This makes Indonesia the fourth largest population of Hindus in the world, after India, Nepal, and Bangladesh. The largest concentration of Hindus in Indonesia is on the island of Bali. In Bali, 87% of residents are Hindus, accounting for over 3.6 million persons. Throughout Indonesian history, there have been several waves of Indian migration to the island. The first Indian migrants came primarily from Gujarat in India during the 16th century for trade. In the 19th century, the Dutch brought Indians to Indonesia as indentured laborers to work on the plantations. Many Hindu Sinti families also fled to the island after the India-Pakistan partition of 1947. Then, in the 1970s, the inflow of major Indian investments into Indonesia brought Indian business people to the nation. Although Islam is the dominant religion in Indonesia, followed by Christianity and then Hinduism, in the country's past, Hinduism had once occupied a significant role, and its influence is evident in many aspects of the Indonesian cultural fabric. It is interesting to note that while some Indonesian Hindus observe Diwali of the five-day period, as seen in the North Indian customs, the Hindus of Bali have created their own version of the festival. Galungan is one of the most important ceremonies on the Balinese calendar and is closely related to Diwali in India. Although the dates differ between both festivals, they both celebrate the triumph of dharma, righteousness over ad-dharma, unrighteousness. In Balinese mythology, Galungan commemorates the victory of Lord Indra over the wicked king Mayadinawa. The exact dates of this auspicious day are calculated through the 210-day Balinese calendar. The Galungan period lasts for 10 days, and each day has its own name and specific activities. During this time, schools are closed to observe this sacred period. In fact, during the period of Galungan, the streets across Indonesia are adorned with bamboo poles called penjor, with offerings of rice, bananas and coconuts hanging off them. The festivities begin three days before the actual Galungan day. This day is called Penyikaban. 
in Yikiban means the day to cover up. And this is the day when green bananas are covered up in huge clay pots to speed their ripening. Two days before Galungan is Pinyajan. This marks a time of introspection for the Balinese people. On this day, colored rice cakes, known as jaja, are made to be used in offerings on Galungan Day. The day before Galungan is called Penampahan. On this day, pigs and chickens are blessed and ceremonially sacrificed to make food for Galungan, including lawar, a kind of spicy salad and satay. On Galungan Day, the Balinese put on their finest traditional clothes to attend temple prayers with their families and bring offerings to share and enjoy after praying. The day after Galungan Day is known as Manis Galungan, and this day is dedicated to spending time with family and visiting the extended family who may live in other parts of Bali. Fast forward to 10 days after Galungan, this is called Kuningan, and special focus is placed on ancestral worship. During this time, Balinese families engage in prayers and offerings. Most Kuningan celebrations take place in the privacy of the home, in the shrines of the family temple and housing compounds. The entire observance comes to an end on Manis Kuningan. This is the day after Kuningan. There are no religious ceremonies during this day, and people spend their time with family and loved ones, mostly in their hometown. And with that, we say thank you for coming along with us on our Diwali trip to Indonesia. I'm Shamji. Join us for another adventure soon here on WESN's Diwali Passport. When it comes to Pira and Ladu, I just use Chatak's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. It's a combination of traditional ingredients in one pack. I don't spend all that time preparing different ingredients like ma. Three quarter of the work is done. So now I can make fresh, delicious Pira and Ladu in about 15 minutes with the convenience of Chatak's Ladu and Pira Mitai Mix. Now Ma's kitchen is a Chata kitchen. Now available, Gulab Jamun Instant Mitai Mix. Lighting up for Diwali just got simple with the easy-to-use Anand brand wax deers. They're scientifically engineered to last longer, burn brighter, and keep on lighting. Anand brand wax deers do not require any prepping or filling and has less spillage and cleanup. These deers are recommended for outdoor use and can withstand light wind and rain. Plus, they're eco-friendly. Redeem your use cases for cash back. So put some green innovation into your Diwali celebrations with Anand Brand Wax Deals. Diwali Passport, brought to you by Chatak Food Products and Anand Brand Wax Deals.